Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and give you some manifestation advice to see how you can manifest that thing that you've been trying to manifest. Um, see some movement, okay? See some progress. This is just going to be like a manifestation mindset type of video. I think I'm just going to start a new series on my channel called Manifestation Mindset or Manifestation Motivation. Still haven't really decided yet, but this is... You know, just going to be a video where I give you some advice on how to manifest, you know, a pep talk to kind of get into that manifestation mode here. So the first thing that you can be saying, okay, or should be saying before even like um, manifesting specific things, I feel like this does count as self-concept as well, is believing in yourself, believing in your manifestation abilities, believing that you can bring about this thing into your reality. And even if you can't believe it, actually, let me backtrack for a second. You don't necessarily have to believe in anything, even robotic affirming works, but just telling yourself, I know I can manifest this thing. I know that I'm the one that's bringing this thing into my reality. Um, it's not your SP conforming. It's not your duty. Well, yeah, it kind of is your duty conforming, but that only happens once you conform to your manifestation abilities, once you conform to your subconscious mind, to yourself, okay? So just telling yourself that I can manifest, I'm the opera and power of my reality, I'm the god of my reality, if you want to say that, whatever you're most comfortable with, um, will really, really help sort of like prime your manifestations. That's the best way that I can put it. The example that I always like giving is, you know, I like wearing makeup, I like wearing foundation, but I always put SPF, I always put primer before so my makeup can actually stay. So do you necessarily need self-concept to manifest? No, but it does help your manifestations like be permanent it does help you keep your manifestations okay so yeah just tell yourself you know affirmations like it is easy for me to manifest i've always been able to manifest easily it's easy for me to manifest the exact thing that i want okay and don't limit yourself at the end of the day your mind is the only limit i know a lot of you guys are like saying you know these limiting beliefs to yourself like oh they're too busy for me i don't expect them to text me all the time because you know they're busy with work there's too many other like you know attractive people around or money's hard to make or like you know the economy is doing this and that like it doesn't matter that, that that's just something you manifested into your reality that's something that you either created or raised your you know awareness like brought awareness to in your reality okay and you can completely like unmanifest that you can completely change that up so yeah my point is like you should definitely you know say affirmations that have to do with trusting yourself trusting manifestation in itself okay you manifest with the concept of manifestation you brought that into your reality you know why not you know go that extra mile and like start believing it works for you or um trust that it works for you and again even if you can't believe it that's fine i, I know like you know i will say things they like believe but then tell you like it's okay to robotic affirm but um it, for those of you that want to feel i literally just had like a conversation with a client today we were talking about like feeling things you don't need to feel things at all okay um but if you do want to feel if you're the type of person that likes visualizing that likes feeling things real just tell yourself it is easy for you to feel things real it is easy for you to manifest exactly what you want in the way that you want it okay and again don't be a victim to your own mind don't be a victim to the limits that you set in your mind because you know like that that's the whole point of manifestation you're supposed to tell yourself you're limitless you're supposed to not give in to these limits that you know um are in your mind that could have come as a result of society telling you this that whatever it's it's our job to you know stay true to ourselves our mindset our manifestations okay yeah there might be some people who will say like very limited things you know spew limiting beliefs but then if you you know think about it on a deeper level you're the one that manifested that you're the one that manifested them saying that right so if like that's something that's like demotivating you demoralizing you you literally just have to tell yourself okay cool but no thanks okay you don't have to accept everything that shows up in your reality in fact like I don't like saying you're being tested, but it's like if something is coming up in your reality and you're continuing to like be triggered by it, like that could be also what's delaying your manifestations. And you have to kind of make that conscious step, make that choice to not be triggered by it, to not internalize that thing. Just tell yourself, <clears throat> okay, cool, um, interesting view, but I don't accept it. You know, don't don't feel like you know you have to accept every single thing that you're seeing or reading and like this is you know something that i wish i had told my you know past self when i got to manifestation because i would see a lot of people talk about limiting beliefs like oh you have to feel things real you have to be high vibrational you have to let go you have to detach you know people do talk a lot about um you know how they 
how everything came in when they let go when they detached and you know i'm not gonna lie the same thing has happened to me too but here's what i noticed if you keep going by the fact the law the rule you keep creating the assumption that um oh i have to detach in order for me to get this i have to just not want it anymore then you're gonna keep creating that same pattern for yourself you're gonna keep creating that same um you know type of manifestation for yourself every time you want something you're just gonna have to not want it and then you know it will come back into your life but you know, at times you won't even want it anymore. Where's the fun in that? I don't know about you, but I want my manifestation when I want it. And when I want it, I want things fast. I want things instantaneously. And, and that's okay. That's okay. That's completely okay for you to want that. Um, and, you know, the thing is, you make the rules. You create the rules. Like, law of assumption, it's like, th that's something you manifested, right? Even the concept of the law of assumption is something that you manifest. Or whatever you assume to be true is true. Like, same with law. Actually, what I meant to say is, like, law of attraction. A lot of people that believe in the law of attraction and has it working for them, like they have that rule in their mind that it works for them, okay? But uh, for me personally, like I don't really resonate with a lot of like the kind of mainstream spirituality stuff that's out there. Well, out there, definitely some of the things I do resonate with, with like detaching, letting go, not wanting the thing anymore, I feel like is like kind of not that great of manifestation advice at all because then that's that's kind of annoying like imagine like things just coming in when you don't want it anymore like i said where's the fun in that where's the enjoyment in that personally um i want to be able to like actually like enjoy the thing when it comes into my life or else like you know i don't know life life would be really boring and mundane if that wasn't the case anyways i'm just saying the same thing again and again but hopefully you understand the point that i'm trying to make the points that i'm trying to make okay but let's go ahead and pick some more cards it's easy for me to keep my manifestations. This has been coming up a lot, okay? Like just, yeah, it's easy for me to achieve full results. I always see my manifestations in the 3D. It's easy for me to, you know, feel good. It feels good to feel good. I feel good, you know, having everything that I want. It, it feels safe to have everything I want. Sometimes, you know, manifestations that we previously manifested will kind of like, you know dwindle away or like you know unfold or fold back to what it used to be I, there's like a specific word for that i can't think of it right now but you just have to tell yourself that you know it's safe for you to keep your manifestations that you're worthy of your manifestations that's why i really do preach self-concept um i think even when you get your manifestations you should still be saying self-concept affirmations like it's you know i'm worthy of this it's natural for me to have this I deserve this, okay? I personally do that. I know I talk about this a lot, but my, minis my biggest manifestation is my job, my luxury apartment. And I tell myself it's easy for me to keep it. I'm so grateful. I love doing gratitude affirmations because, you know, I, I just think like that helps me, you know, kind of think more positively and view things in a more positive perspective rather than come from like a place of fear, like, oh, I'm gonna lose this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. You know, expressing gratitude, doing worthiness affirmations, like you can never go wrong with that. Let's go ahead and pick one more card. I love this. Everything I want wants me more. I've always had the best self-concept in every area. I have perfect self-concept, especially when it comes to love relationships, especially when it comes to money. As say especially for the things you've been struggling in okay like for a lot of you i know you're able to manifest like you know money abundance you know career related manifestations but maybe that hasn't been the case when it comes to love and relationships so you have to tell yourself it's especially easy for me to manifest you know the best relationship the best you know um, versions of people um i see myself as someone that's always committed to i see myself as someone who's worthy of loyalty security i feel so safe and secure in my relationships it's easy and safe for me to you know feel passion in my relationships it's okay for me to you know be happy it feels good to feel good i've really 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 been liking that affirmation as well so um yeah definitely this is a great affirmation to say say whenever um maybe you feel like you need some more self-concept help or um what have you so yeah um i, I feel like you know the biggest thing that i is lacking here you guys know this stuff you know these affirmations a lot of you just don't stay consistent a lot of you just give up and then you know you'll like temporarily give up and you're like wait no i still want this thing or this person then you'll go back and it's like you will get kind of lost that momentum you know what i mean like it's like just continue that momentum just like just affirm for self-concept even if you don't want to affirm for the specific thing just keep affirming for self-concept i i always feel things real or you know 
I, I always believe in your manifestation abilities. I, the one about I always feel things real, you don't have to say, but again, if you feel like that's gonna help, you can definitely say that. Um, it's easy for me to manifest. I'm worthy of my manifestations. Um, I deserve the best. I deserve the best life has to offer. I always get my way. I always get what I want. What I want wants me even more, just as much. I've always attracted everything I wanted. I've always gotten everything I wanted so easily and effortlessly, okay? If you want things effortlessly and you don't want to have to keep affirming every day, you got to create the belief that you manifest things effortlessly. And that does take a little bit of time, energy, effort, momentum, okay? But once you do that, you'll be solid, okay? But you, you got to keep telling yourself a positive story in your head. You know, keep circling these like positive affirmations and that will also help you that will help prevent you from spiraling checking the 3d caring too much about 3d validation okay like this stuff really does work it's just a matter of like you know consistency and showing up for yourself if you want consistency in a relationship in a job in anything else you got to give that consistency to yourself you know how are you gonna like again this is just a rule or assumption that maybe i have but it's like anything you want from anyone else when you give it to yourself that thing will come to you so much easier okay it's like um, what's that phrase like you know knife on a butter or so something like that yeah y'all know what I mean but just, just things will become so much easier for you okay yeah anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here I really really hope this helps I also offer manifestation coaching as well as tarot readings and I also custom make subliminals that help you manifest so if you're interested in any of these services check out the description box below where you can sign up for them and yeah I will end the video right here thank you so much love and light